hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel ever since they are sent to pib bill to law a lot of um southern nigerians particularly niger delta area youth have been filming very furious over the fact that the non-producing states seem to be smiling to the banks as compared to them they suffer environmental degradation a uh, terrible environmental situation uh, and and the fact that even economically they're actually not so viable as one would have expected them but right now they have decided to do this as in fully get involved over the matter calling out president Mahmoud Buhari and their illustrious son Sylvia Tembury over the matter this is definitely getting uh, uh, hotter and anger is actually moving hey there's anger in the land before going to the news proper I'd like you subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you say by notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on youtube well let's go straight to the news enjoy youth from six states of niger delta region have declared president muhammad buhari and the minister of state for petroleum resources tambury silver persona non grata in the region the move is allegedly over their roles in the signing of the petroleum industrial bill pib into law and the alleged show of disregard to the plight and cry of the people of the region over the years a development they said has heightened the rising tension and anger in the region the Ijo youth under the aegis of the youth of the Ijo youth council iyc worldwide said although buhari and sylvia silva have the constitutional right to move to any part of the country their movement into the six states of niger delta will be welcomed with bows and disgraceful jazz Recall that the IYC had on Tuesday rejected the signing of the controversial Petroleum Industrial Bill, that's PIB, by President Buhari. According to them, the signing of the PIB into law is a total affront to the outcry of the people of Niger Delta region against the 3% provision for the oil producing com communities, the IYC. In a statement issued in Yenagua by its national spokesman, Comrade Ebilede Ikarife, said the decision not to welcome Buhari and Sivia to the region is a further show of disdain to their drop in the ratings of Niger Delta people and so should not expect any accolades and congratulatory messages from the region. Ikarife noted that the best course of action to have been taken by the president was to send the bill back to the National Assembly for upward review of the 3% equity share to host communities whose environment has suffered decades of oil exploration activities by the oil companies. Therefore, a substantial percentage to the host, com would, that host community would have helped to address this age-long criminality. Until that is done, there's nothing to celebrate, he said. IYC further described the explanation offered by the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, that's Timbre Silver, on the 3% as an afterthought. What the minister should have done as an illustrious son of the soul was to apologize and appeal to the consciences of our people rather than justifying an art which is politically tailored to favor the north and its allies in the industry it is a rape to justice and equity for the national assembly to pass three percent equity share to the host communities while passing 30 percent to frontier business which in our view is grossly inadequate and it is against on on a 10 percent agreement by stakeholders for hostcom when the national assembly visited the region with the amount of speed the president used in signing the pib without recourse to this team stand by stakeholders from the region the president has further demonstrated that the opinions of niger delta people don't doesn't matter in his government as we have witnessed in other areas that requires urgent attention of his government 
in the light of the foregoing, there is no better time for the people of the Niger Delta region to intensify the struggle for resource control and self-determination. But come, it has happened. We believe strongly that it will be the only sure path upon which our God-given natural resources can be managed by us and not this impunity we have witnessed from a repressive federal government under President Mahmoud Buhari, the statement said. <clears throat> this is uh, getting um, interesting. Mazen Amdekano during those days when he was out, when he was not uh, in detention, has always been calling out. Uh, but a lot of one or two persons from the Niger Delta region had always insisted and stood alone, insisting that um, they rather stand on their own. And now they're talking about self determination. Having asked questions, having justified, having begged, coerced, whatever it was needed to say, to see to it that at least they get something like 5%. Don't forget that the North is getting like 30% for not doing anything. The gold is there. I don't think anybody has talked about resource control on the gold being mined in Zamfara and the northern part of Nigeria. I think it's the community that enjoys it or the uh, the region that actually enjoys it. But when it comes to the issue of oil, it's a national moi moi, quote unquote. It's a national cake. It's everybody's resources. But when it comes to some specific resources like these, other, it's actually is a case of the region's resource and not the national resource. And now the youth are now beginning to see the pains or rather the issues being discussed or the push by the likes of the Biafrans or the Dua Republic over their resource control. Now they're actually saying that um, if they eventually get to see the likes of uh, the president, Mahmoud Buhari, or even the illustrious son, uh, see that they will bow him and cheer him. Honestly, boring and cheering, does it change personal opinion now? Does it change the economic hardship in your country, your state? It doesn't. Uh, these are childish. Well, if, if for those who are psychological, who are not psychologically matured, that may be. These guys are politicians. They don't, um, those bones and chairs, it's just for the moment. Worst case scenario, the camera carries it, they move on. It doesn't change what is happening already in your region. You need to be more proactive. Is there ways that this can be addressed, that has been passed to law, can it be changed? Now, all along, there have been a wake-up call crying, Let, look, can we look into this issue of restructuring or self-determination? A lot of people have because right now. I guess we're looking at another set of persons coming in to join this issue of um, uh, uh, self-determination. Already, uh, Biafra has been existing for, yes, Biafra struggle has been existing for a while now. Odudua Republic has also followed suit. Now we'll be hearing things that Niger Delta area <laughs> Republic. I do not know how true that is, but they are eventually looking towards that. Five uh, communities have, have five states in the Niger Delta area have already signed. We don't know what, but we'll keep you updated as more events unfold. Let's meet in that conversation. What's a take on this latest development? Let's interrupt.